So that's it. You can get your comfortable ringside seat with us then for Muhammad Ali and Floyd Patterson. And the usual prayer there, the Muslim prayer by Muhammad Ali, he does this before all his fights. They're both wearing white trunks, but I think they're sufficiently well known not to bother with identification. And if you're not too sure, well, the man who's tried that long left hand, this left hand that he uses almost like a Chinese torture there, Ali, to wear down the opposition. So you can really say with these trunks, you're getting it in black and white as well as colour. So round two then, and the research round is over. And Ali just... Unless Patterson's trying to show Ali that punch and then speed it up when he's least expecting it. Of punch. They get a little slower, but they can still bang a bit. It looked a bit exciting. So into round three. Incredible casual look the whole time about Ali. You just fight oh, 155, and Ali, this is his 40th fight. So that's the pattern, obviously. If Patterson is going to stand square, Ali's going to rip the. He still has quite a bit of. But now Ali's unloading on him a bit. The research rounds are over. So round four. And it was Patterson who was off his stool first that time. And Ali decided he needed to sit down between rounds the opponents when you think that Patterson knocked out Ingham Johansson he knocked out Henry Cooper defeated Archie yes. fight when Clay, Clay then really punished Patterson but Patterson was still struggling gamely rather sickening side in the 12th round It's a bit distracting. It really is Patterson having so much difficulty. What does he do with this fellow? Apart from try to hit him, which he is trying to do. And he looked pretty impressive with that little combination. That was a little like the old Patterson there. Done it a bit. So then, replay into that round. End of the fifth round, and it's scheduled for 12. Both of them former Olympic gold medalists. Both won gold medal. Um, Patterson is a middleweight. Ali is a light heavyweight. Although, that's one time where the crowd got a little bit excited, and who knows, Ali may have... So Patterson trapped there in his own corner, but none of the screaming from his seconds can help him. But the crowd... The referee having to keep on his toes, even with these big fellas. Arthur McCanty, New York appointed, of course. This man likes, and this is what he does best. And he really got through well there, Patterson. And there's the replay then. Yeah. 
So the halfway stage, round six then. And as if you didn't know, Muhammad Ali and Floyd Patterson, both former heavyweight champions of the world, and this is the really lively round, it would seem. And there's no larking about here from Ali. There really isn't. He's done the toying and taunting stuff. He's taken a few punches from Patterson, and it looks as though he wants to go to work in the sixth round. Patterson lasted 12 rounds in the last fight. It looks as though he's going to be lucky to do it here. But that's what Ali gets for... Thing is, when it comes to spirit and gameness, you can count on Floyd Patterson. Even though that blood now dripping from that right eye. And it's Ali taking him apart now, with half a minute to go in the sixth round. But if Patterson gets back to the corner and gets a bit of revival, who knows? He may go on a bit longer than this. But this is where Ali's trying to make every punch count now. So you can see now that this left eye of Patterson's really is closing in the seventh round. It really is looking a bit grotesque there. And it, although that was a low punch, he actually slipped as he threw that punch. So you may get an apologetic uh, touch there from Patterson. But this uh, armistice will be very short-lived, I think. I haven't seen Patterson damage long comes there with Ali. He's not, he's not really turning it all on. But on the other hand, Less than half a minute. so with half a minute to go then, this is the effort now from Ali's corner looking over to say what is happening, but it looks as though they're going to send him out for the eighth round. No, the referee quite rightly refuses to let this go on. And it just shows you how ignorant can the crowd get. They're quite upset that the referee has stopped this at the start of the eighth round, but I am entirely in agreement with the referee and doctor's opinion there. It really is a bad eye. It was a one... It's okay, I didn't get the motion. One of these guys is not recognising me. Can I get in, fellas? Thanks.